Well, that sucked. Uh, welcome back to the Tommy V podcast. That was awful. That's a loss that uh, if they lose this series, no Knicks fan is going to get over anytime soon. So the Knicks blew it. I'll be home again tomorrow. So I'm just going to do a quick one here. Um, the Knicks blew that game. And I get it. The Knicks scored, what was it, six points in 20 seconds or 27 seconds, something like that, or eight points in 20-something seconds in game three. Uh, game two, rather. And so this one goes the other way. Sometimes the pendulum just swings the other way, right? So the Sixers get one back. But the Knicks were the better team throughout this series. It was close, but the Knicks have been the better team. And in this game, up seven uh, with no time left. And they hit the three and the foul. Just a terrible foul on Mitchell Robinson. And then the... Just the three after that, just a deep three to tie it at 97. It's excruciating. And it's the kind of game that flips the series. And the Knicks being up 3-1, having the crowd at home, feeling like you locked it up. And I'm watching the game like this game's over. We beat the Sixers. We don't have to go back to freaking Philadelphia. We now get to wait the winner of a series that was just pushed to, pushed to a sixth game between, um, obviously, Indiana and the Bucks, And instead... The Knicks lose and have to go back to Philly. And emotionally, you look at that and you say, this is a a game that changes the series and changes it entirely. Emotionally, you look at that and you say, how do the Sixers not come back and win the series after this? And if the Sixers come back and win the series, that is one of the worst losses in Knicks history. Pragmatically, we'll get into how it actually is a little bit later. When you think logically, when you use... Common sense, we'll talk about it. But emotionally, which we all are as fans, and sometimes athletes are too, I'm sure, there's no way to sugarcoat that one. It's it's impossible to overcome that that type of loss. Mitchell Robinson, who was huge in this game, that foul is inexcusable. Tibbs deciding not to foul up three with 15 seconds left is inexcusable. Hart and Anobi and Brunson all missing free throws. And Tyrese Maxey taking over and having what may go down in history as the Tyrese Maxey game. Now, the Reggie Miller game, where he said, famously, the Knicks choked. um, (laughs) The Knicks won that series against Indiana. So the Knicks can still and should still win the series. There's two games left. They only have to get one win in the next two games. But this is a brutal loss. This is a type of loss you think about. Like This is what playoffs is made of. You have losses like this. Um, the Jalen Brunson turnover in overtime after it was clearly a struggle. They go up five in overtime. They give up a 9-0 run. And then they come back. They battle back. Brunson misses another free throw, but then he gets the three-pointer to tie it. And then a couple other bad plays. Joel Embiid was allergic to the basketball down the stretch. Joel Embiid was turning the ball over. Joel Embiid was not shooting well in this game, was missing free throws. He was awful. And if you think about it, Joel Embiid has been awful since he elbows or shoulders Jalen Brunson dirty in that game in game four, since that point, Jalen has been incredible and Embiid has been awful. But tonight, despite Jalen Brunson being awesome again, despite Embiid being awful again, and really the only guy on the Sixers who could do anything being Maxi, the Knicks straight up blew it. Because with everything that went the Knicks way, the Knicks found a way to lose. And I talked about finding ways to win and stealing a game in game one. This is a team that found a way to lose this game. And that's incredibly frustrating. That's crushing. And it's a gut wrenching, gut wrenching loss for the Knicks. Um, now, if you're thinking about it pragmatically, that's the emotional, the emotional side of it. How do you recover from this? Pragmatically, sure, the Knicks gave the Sixers life in the ser- in the series. They had no life. The series was over. The Knicks had it won. I was already thinking on to the next round. So yes. You gave the Sixers life. Am I nervous as hell for game six? Yeah. You're going into their building again, and you have to try and find a way to, a way to win a game when all the pressure is really on the on the Knicks because you don't want to have to come back home for a game seven. It's house money almost for Sixers, for the Sixers. Come home, win a game, force a game seven back in New York. But we know we can win there. The Knicks have won a game in Philly. And the Knicks are tougher. The Knicks are a tougher team, both mentally and physically. We saw it in game four. 
We've seen it all series long. When a team has to get off the mat, I trust that the Knicks will, and I trust that the Sixers will crumble. Whether it was Maxi in game four and Embiid, whether it was Embiid in game five, the Sixers have crumbled. I said before the series Knicks in six, it's because I believe this Knicks team can win a game in Philadelphia, game six in Philadelphia. So go down to Philly and win game six. I still believe the Knicks will win this series in six. Look, we can't have more of the slow starts from Dante DiVincenzo. Game five or game six rather is going to be 9 p.m. on Thursday night. Maybe the later start time will actually help Dante and the Knicks because the Knicks have been starting so slow. You can't have these slow starts and expect to win games. You can't be going down 12 right out the gate or 10 points right out the gate and expecting to come back every time. It's just not realistic to play games like that, to play basketball from behind constantly. Or by the time you go on the run to get your... I don't know what you do. Maybe you start deuce. But DiFincenzo has to step up, especially now that um, Bogdanovich is out for the series. Look, there's, there's a lot that the Knicks need to do better. I think Jalen will come back from this. He knows he made a mistake, but it didn't cost him. He talks about the turnover he had against Miami late in the game in game six against Miami last year. This time the series isn't over. You have a chance to still win this game, win this series, that is. And Jalen has a chance to go into Philly again and do what he did to them in game five or game four and game five and game three and dominate them again. I said he would come alive in this series. He did. The Knicks need help, though. Josh Hart, go back to being who you were at the beginning of the series. Maybe not to that level. Di Vincenzo, it's time to show up in this series. Deuce McBride has been awesome. Mitchell Robinson, those two terrible fouls. Everyone on the Knicks knows they have to be better, and Tom Thibodeau knows he has to be better. So it's a tough one. It's a really, really gut-wrenching, heartbreaking loss. But it doesn't have to be. If in two days, the Knicks, by the time you, it's Wednesday already, so tomorrow, it's the first day of May. On Thursday, by the time the Knicks go into Philly, they could change the whole story about this. It's just a blip. It's nothing. But if this gets forced to Game 7, and God forbid they lose a Game 7, then it becomes a real issue. All right, that's all I got for you guys. It's really not a ton tonight. Um... Just wanted to talk about that game as it happened. Rangers swept. I told you they would. Um, Yankees stink again after scoring 30 runs in two games. They can't score a run against the Orioles. Um, so lots to talk about. We'll talk about it all when I get home tomorrow. Uh, a lot of stuff to get to. If you want to buy some cool hats, some cool swag, go to hugahouse.com. Use my code R-A-M-I-Rami. It's going to be lots of cool stuff to talk about next week. So can't wait to get back to New York, get back in the grind, get back in the rhythm of things, talk to some of the people at fans, some of the people at uh, bare minimum with the Ranger stuff and a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, will be coming up. So this show is going to stay here, keep getting better, hopefully. And until next time, let's go next. I just still believe in this team. I still trust in this team. Still think they find a way to win. It was a bad game. It sucked. They went down early. They persevered. They came back. They're still a tougher team. They're still a better team. Nixon six. I believe it. Nixon six. Let's go next.